In 1872, the literary world was introduced to a novel that would quietly challenge the era's boundaries. Carmilla, penned by Joseph Thomas Sheridan Lefanu, emerged in the magazine The Dark Blue, later collected in In a Glass Darkly. This novella not only delved into the lore of vampirism, but also weaved subtle threads of forbidden love into its narrative, creating a blend that was both alluring and disturbing for Victorian society. As one of the first tales to explore the gothic horror through a female vampire, Carmilla captivated its audience with its fresh and enigmatic take on the supernatural. Yet, it was the novella's depiction of the intense relationship between two women that truly pushed societal boundaries, touching on themes too provocative to be openly discussed at the time. Initially overshadowed by Bram Stoker's Dracula, Carmilla has since been reevaluated and revered, not just as a precursor to modern vampire tales, but as a pioneering exploration of gender and sexuality. Today it stands not only as a significant piece of Gothic literature, but also as a progressive reflection on themes that continue to resonate with readers around the world.